tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The 26 pickup of a yard for the tailback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. And he's taken down at the 34 yard line. the middle for a nice game. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. He has some room. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. He's scrambling. He's at the 30. Fires quickly and he's got his man and he's tackled around the 14 yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He's level at the 12 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and five. through his hands. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. This should be an easy field goal. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Iowa's a team and a program that year in, year out's got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He gets rid of this one. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. At the 46. Number 37 makes the tackle at the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Ready! So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. That makes it second and two. He 
It's second down, and they're man, about man, two man. yards away from the down, sticks. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. My <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at about the 13. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. From the 17 yard line, second down. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the six. That makes it third and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Brought down around the three-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Dives forward. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Mike five, Mike five. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-3. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Watch out here. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. He might have a chance. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 43 yard line. He's at the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 17 yard line. The 10 makes it out to about the seven. So at the end of one, Iowa leads it 7-3. We're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Down. 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 Touchdown, Buckeyes. That 
that's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Game is six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he is drilled at the 43-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. Go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down. Mike five, Mike five. Ready. Run play and he'll lose yards. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Gets out to around the 48. That's a team to live on play. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. And down he goes at the 16. That makes it second and eight. Here's the eighth play of the series. Four down, four down. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. He's on the run. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Quick pass. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. This is the 10th play of this drive. Tackle made at the four. Gaining three yards. That brings him second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Four yards out. He's tackled at the one. We're at the 12th play of the drive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Iowa! And a halfback 
took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Down. Pass right, running back's got it. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. He's out of bounds around the 46-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 46-yard line. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 47. He did a good job of recognizing that he was the best option for picking up the first. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 39-yard line. He scrambles there for about eight yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time. taken down at the 29. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard. It's the 36-yard line. Down around the 35 yard line. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 24 yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hawkeyes obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Iowa is up one. Green, 19. Green, 19. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 90. 
And he's level at the 50-yard line. The Hawkeyes use their second timeout. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He's going to air it long. And it's going the other way. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 14-13, Iowa. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nestler and Herbstreet will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Iowa with a one-point lead. He's scrambling. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets to around the 42. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Moves up in the pocket. Got it. And he goes down quickly. About six yards on that completion. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. Make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Watch 23. Watch 23. Watch Nice run, and he's brought down. Gaining five on the way. First down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike five. Let's go. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 47-yard line. It's second down. They'll get him for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Iowa of the points. made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. And here's the... Wait a minute, the Elbacks got it. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands.
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he hits him hard at midfield. about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Down! Get up! Get up! 87! Down! And they got him for a loss. Loss of three on the way. That'll make it fourth and six. Ohio State is trying to take the lead here. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Five to the Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Makes it out to about the 39. Slings it, and he's hit immediately. Number five brings him down at the 43 yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 43 yard line, second down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. I got you, 45. My five, my five. Red 18. Motion, Red motion, 18. Motion. He'll get the call again. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Out of this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Good tackle there in space. From the 46 yard line, first down. gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Delta. Delta. Reset, reset, reset. Throw 
throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. That's three down and one to go. Ohio State's leading by two. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Ohio State is up two. Down, Oklahoma! And down he goes at the 23. with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That'll make it 39. From their own 21-yard line, it's third down. Passes to the back, incomplete. Number 34, the intended receiver on the way. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 36. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. They can't hear a thing down there. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ohio State holds just a two-point lead. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Pass and he's taken down right around the 34. That's a good game of seven yards. That'll bring up 34.
the 48-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 41. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Makes it out to about the 29. This is the eighth play of the drive. There's a fumble. The defense scoops it. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from it. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down around the 28-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. They're about four yards away here on third down. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. From the 44-yard line, second down. Ohio State with a two-point advantage. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. And the ball game's over. The Buckeyes come out on top, 16-14. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.